First time on the Multistrada 950. We'll take it around the parking lot a little bit. See how she feels. Very different than my Super Sport. Sitting totally upright. I'm sitting completely upright. My feet are kind of uh, a lot more ahead of me than they are on the Super Sport. It's definitely a much more kind of comfortable position than the uh, Super Sport or definitely much more comfortable than a Panigale. Can't see anything in this mirror, hold on. There we go. Let's raise this up. Definitely would need to tighten up the front forks. A lot of dive on braking. I need to pull over, I forgot to put my earplugs in. I don't know, maybe it's just my helmet, but there's no way to ride without earplugs. The wind noise is unbearable. I don't know how people do it. All right, let's see. I don't want to go that way. Look at all that traffic. We'll go this way and see where it takes us. Transmission is very smooth, very nice. Ooh, yeah, the dive. Man, a lot of dive, like everybody said. Front forks are set up for, uh, I don't know, for off-roading, I guess. Oh, can I get out this way? Oh, no. Ah! Looks like I can't go that way. Crap. Well, we're going to see how maneuverable this thing is at low speed. Woo! It's tall. I'm on my toes. Mm. All right. It's not too bad. It doesn't feel as heavy as I expected it would. I wonder if this gets me out. Maybe I should launch that. How viral would this video go if I just launched that right now? Just fucking killed myself. <laughs> launch that right into that right into that uh, that cargo container. <laughs> All rear brake here. Look at all this gravel. I'm not touching the front brake on this shit. Sounds awesome. With the stock exhaust, sounds great. You gotta be on full throttle pretty much though to hear it at a higher speed. Like I don't really hear it that well right now but I am wearing ear earplugs. Ugh, look at all this traffic. Ugh, it's disgusting. I have to remember not to try to uh, clutchlessly downshift. This does not have a blipper or quick shifter at all. So it's all manual. I've been a little spoiled by the Super Sports quick shifter and blipper, but that's okay. I still remember how to do it. Clutch is an easy pull. No reason it shouldn't be. Same engine as my bike. This has the uh, 937 cc um, Testostretta. Go, dude. Why are you going so slow? It's a green light. Put 
this all the way up, see how that is. It's interesting, sitting higher like this, more upright, I feel like I'm going slower than I am. Like I'm, I'm speeding, and uh, it feels like I'm going really slow. 63 on the uh, speedometer, and I feel like I'm going 40. It's a weird feeling. So position is perfectly upright. Like I almost feel like I want it to be a little bit more forward. Um, could probably change the handlebars maybe, but yeah, it's totally upright. Very easy to maneuver. Woo. Strange feeling though, being so tall. Yeah, definitely the front forks are way too soft. Uh, the windshield seems to give good wind protection. I don't really feel any buffeting on my helmet. I think I gotta keep my arms bent. So I'm used to having my arms straighter and that's kind of leaning me back. So I think the idea here is just to relax your arms and, and shoulders and just, well, go, dude, go. Why does it take people so long to make a decision? There's nobody there. Yeah, that exhaust sounds great. It's not as loud as the Termi I got on mine, but it still has the same, uh, very similar grunt. Very, very nice brap. The right mirror is vibrating kind of badly. Still can see, but it's vibrating. The left mirror isn't vibrating as much. That's interesting. Brutale. I don't know about this windshield though. I'm getting some uh, helmet buffeting. Not buffeting, but uh, the, the, the wind that's coming off of it somehow is uh, making it sound like I'm in some sort of a wind tunnel. Even though it's not really shaking my helmet at all. It's strange, it's hard to explain. I don't know if it's better up or down. So uh, we're in sixth gear. Let's see, we'll go down to 5,000 RPM and just open the throttle up. Yeah, you can definitely feel the weight that this engine is pulling on this bike as compared to my lighter Super Sport. Um, might be tuned a little differently too, I'm not sure. But if I did that roll on on the Super Sport, uh, it would have accelerated quicker than that. Definitely quicker. And that comes as no surprise. I didn't expect this bike to be as quick as my bike. A lot more wind resistance, taller, heavier, same engine. It's funny, I got used to having a Termi and knowing where my RPMs were by the sound. Now just cruising at 78, I can't hear the engine, so I keep forgetting to upshift. Gotta have a loud pipe, loud pipes save lives. So yeah, this bike definitely needs cruise control. There's no reason for it to not have it. So right off the bat, what I would do is I would give this bike a Termi and cruise control, panniers, and tighten up the front fork um, compression. This is way too soft. But it still has that fantastic character, that V-twin grunt. L twin to be technical about it. We're at 4,000 RPM. I can just gun it and brap, pull away. It's so weird sitting like this. I'm so not used to it. I feel like I'm leaning back too much. 
in a vacuum, not talking about distance or comfort, I do definitely prefer a more prone seated position. But of course that does tire you out a little bit more on the wrists and hands than something like this. So just sitting here, uh, I'm six feet tall. I got a 30, 32 inch inseam, I think, 32, 33. Um, I can flat foot it if I try. If I'm just totally relaxed, my heels are slightly off the ground. Nah, they kind of lean on the ground, but there's a pressure on my inner thighs to have my heels on the ground. It's probably 93 degrees right now, and um, I'm not feeling any heat off this thing at all. Maybe a little bit on my inner thighs from like this gas tank area, but my ass is fine. I don't feel any heat on my ass, surprisingly. And I'm in, obviously in shitty traffic. Low speed maneuvering is nice. This is easy. It, it fights you a little bit doing that, like it wants to stay upright, so it's not as easy as my SS or a, or a, or a Penegale, of course, or a, or a monster. The mirrors are huge though, I can see everything behind me. With my tiny bar and mirrors on my on my SS, I do have to look over my shoulder, but on this thing, I feel totally confident in just using the mirrors only. Of course, I always check the ramps to see if the the Federales are coming up behind me. Technically, we're all speeding here. So with the foot pegs on my frame and my legs, I pretty much got to keep my heels on them because if I if I try to have my toes on them, I would really have to hold them up because of the position. Like my heels want to fall. Um, seems most comfortable to just have your heels on them on this bike. The seat is very comfortable, very good padding. Overall, I'm very comfortable on this. Just really don't like the dive on the front end, but again, that is something that is adjustable. I'm surprised they have that kind of a uh, soft front end stock. I mean, I guess if you're 100 and 50 pounds or 140 pounds that might work but I'm 194 pounds and I just touched the front brake and the front end kind of dives I'm used to a lot stiffer front end with my Olins let's see how quickly I can change lanes on this not bad. I'm just not used to it. Uh, the engine and transmission are freaking great. The shifting is buttery smooth, precise, no issues at all. Four thousand RPM, third gear. Yeah, love the torque. Now, this is the baby version. I can't wait to 
feel the torque and grunt of the 1260. That's got to be insane. It's got the exact same switch gear that my Super Sport has, which I find perfectly adequate. I enjoy using it. Put that down. That's a great feature right there. Very smart design. You don't need any knobs. You don't have to sit there turning and twisting. You want it higher, you just grab this, squeeze, pull up. You want it lower, that's it. Very nice. Same as on the big one. Big one, it's funny. They're basically the same frame, same overall dimensions. Might be a little bit different, you know, an inch here, an inch there. You know, the, the rake might be a little different on this one. Uh, the swing arm might have a different length because this is a double-sided swing arm and the 1260 has a single-sided swing arm. So there's always a chance that it might be a little bit different length. But in general, both bikes are pretty much the same, except for the size of the engine and, and the other bells and whistles that the 1260 has, like the cruise control, which this should have. The stronger engine it's got uh, about 50 more horsepower and uh, 20 pound feet 25 pound feet of torque more um, what else does it have that this bike does not have I think the uh, I think the headlights are L LED I think it also has the one of the big features that it has over this bike is the IMU the inertial inertial measurement unit is that what it's called so it senses your lean angle like your phone does. Huh, look at that. It's on some rubber. Anyway, it, the 1260 has an IMU, which means it senses the lean angle of the bike and it adjusts the strength of the ABS according to how far leaned over you are. So if you're straight up and down, the ABS is gonna do less. If you're leaned way over, the ABS is gonna be like at max. So effectively it's an adjust, it's a variable ABS based on lean angle, um, which, is, which is great. Supposedly on that bike, you could be leaned over and slam on the front brake and you will not low side. Supposedly, do not try it. I won't try it, but that's what they, uh, that's what some have claimed. <laughs> That goes against every instinct that an experienced rider would have. If you're leaned over, you do not grab a bunch of front brake. You straighten up first and then grab front brake. Same goes for uh, if you're in the gravel or the grass. If there's anything on the road, any bit of sand or gravel, I do not touch the front brake. Unless it's life or death and, you know, at that point you might as well, you might want a low side and just get off the machine it depends but usually staying on the bike is the best course of action